Okay, another short video talking about this slightly more confusing and more difficult percentage type problem. In this particular video I've done three examples and they're all going to be worked through in the format of a table. Okay, and it's all to do with profit and loss. Okay, each, in each case there's a, a certain amount of money that we've paid for an item. We don't know how much that amount of money is. In each case there will be a percentage profit or loss that has been made. So in the first one, 5% profit. Second one, 63% loss. In the third one, 80% profit. And I am telling you what the actual selling price was in each case. So the first example, I don't know how much I paid for the item, but I do know I made a 5% profit, and that gave me a £64 selling price. And what I need to do is work out what the original cost of the item was. So what I've got is an amount of money, if I then add a 5% profit, 5% of that to it, I end up with an answer of £64. Okay, so what I need to do to work out how much I started with is this idea. Let's imagine, going back to previous videos where I've done those pictures with arrows on, I've got an amount of money, if I want to increase it by 5% to give an answer of £64, I need to be multiplying by 1.05, not 1.5 because that would be 50%. So going from there to there I multiply by 1.05. So to go the reverse process I need to be dividing by 1.05. So in this box here I'm going to simply take the 64 and divide it by 1.05 and that will give me the starting price that I paid for this item. So, here we go then, 64, and I divide by 1.05, and you get an answer of 60.95. So, £60.95 pence was the starting price that I paid for this item. Uh, so, if you add 5% of that to it, you'd end up with £64 to the nearest penny. Okay, let's have a look at number two. Uh, something I've paid some amount of money for, I don't know how much I paid for it. I make a 63% loss when I sell it, and I'm selling it for 780. So to go for um, this amount of money now, this here, to go to there, if I'm making a 63% loss, well, 63% loss is a 63% decrease. So if you remember previous videos, you take a quantity and to decrease it by 63%, you need to multiply it by, well, not 1.63 because that would be a 63% increase or a profit. If it's a decrease or a loss, you need to times it by 0.37 because 63 and the 37 gives you the 100. Okay, so 0.37. So take that, multiply it by 0.37 and it gives you your selling price. So if you're going the other way around, instead of timesing by 0.37, you're going to divide by 0.37. So the sum I need to do is take the 780, and I need to divide it by 0.37. And it's going to be worked out on a calculator. So we get 780, 780, and we divide by 0.37. And that gives us an answer of... £2,108.11 £2,108.11 and that is what the person paid for it in the first place. They're making a big loss of 63% uh, and they're only selling it for 780 In other words, if I worked out 63% of that very simple calculation and took it away from that you'd end up with £780 Okay, last one, this is an 80% profit. An amount of money, 80% profit, and I'm selling it for 74 pence. Okay, so if I take an amount of money and I have an 80% profit, I increase it by 80%, which means I must have multiplied it by 1.80, or 1.8 if you like, to give an 80% profit. So if I want to go backwards and find out what this price was in the first place, then I don't times by 1.80, I divide by 1.80. Okay, 80% profit times by 1.80. Remember, 63% loss, I don't times by 1.63, I times by 0.37 to give it a loss of 63%. So I need to take the 0.74 
and I'll need to divide it by 1.80 or 1.8. So on a calculator, 0 0.74, and I divide by 1.80, and I get an answer of £0.41 pence to the nearest penny. There are loads more decimals, but I'm only interested for money to the nearest penny. So there you go. The person would have paid 41p for the item. They get an 80% profit, uh, and they sell it for 74p. Which makes sense, because an 80% profit is a, is a big profit. It, it is almost doubling the amount of money, 80%. Uh, 41p, double it, you get 82p. So you can see that it, it does make sense. And there you go. Three basic examples of this harder type of question which hopefully by now, if you've read, sorry, read, made notes, um, if you've listened to the three or four videos I've done on this, you're starting to get the idea of, of how to spot these things. I'm going to do one more video where I'm going to give you a mixed bag of questions, some which are like this, and some are the more conventional percentage calculations that you would see, and let's see if we can work through and spot the difference between the two.